Academy started as a dream of mine. Home may say it was came from a shower, as you experience all that rainfall uh, simulated in the shower. So he said, let's simulate this type of rainfall and see what the reactions would be in terms of how much water the soil could take and, and how much water actually runs off different types of pavement. And what is the water quality related to some of these, some of these issues? So the, the dream has now turned into reality. About 1999 is when we had this dream. About 2001 is when we gathered all the uh, funding for it. And now we have the result of that, which is a, the only rainfall simulator in the whole world, which can produce rainfall rates up to 20 inches per hour, which is a very extreme condition of rainfall in any place in the United States and in, that, in fact in, in, in the world. So we can simulate any type of rainfall event and then with suitable types of ground cover we can simulate what the runoff is and then we compare that to actual situations. And by actual situations we're looking at putting water back into the ground, the rainfall, back into the ground. And when we're doing this we're building here on campus, on the University of Central Florida's campus, different types of surface pavements that are permeable, meaning you allow water to go through these pavements, like uh, pavements that are involved with concrete, that are involved with asphalt, that are involved with brick paver, and pavements that even have uh, amounts of recycled materials, such as ground up tire in them, so-called flexi pave on the market today. So these are all opportunities to give back to the profession design materials so that they can better estimate and predict what the runoff is going to be from different rainfall events. The Stormwater Management Academy at the University of Central Florida represents a very unique collaborative partnership initially between the Florida Department of Transportation and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. But that partnership has actually been expanded once the academy has been set up and now we're bringing in folks from the water management districts, from local governments, and from the private sector. So it's, it's a true win-win-win situation, and the real winner here is going to be Florida's water resources. We want, at a, as much as possible, to keep our stormwater on site. Uh, stormwater is not something to be gotten rid of. It's actually a resource. And uh, right now, of course, we're concerned with our water quality. But if we were to run out of drinking water, suddenly the emphasis would shift. And so we want to be looking towards the future. Uh, we want to be hanging on to our valuable stormwater. UCF for many years has been in the forefront of environmental research, not just um, in Florida but nationally. And, and so that was a natural place for us to go uh, to get their level of expertise. Dr. Juan Alista especially uh, is in many respects the, uh, the grandfather of stormwater treatment here in Florida and nationally. And, and so we wanted to partner where the technical resources were strong uh, with the university that has shown and continues to show a long-term commitment uh, to environmental excellence. Um, some of our most promising work here at the Academy is with stormwater reuse where we take the water that we would have released downstream and we re-irrigate the, the green areas or give it to local agencies and um, local governments that may be able to use it as a non-potable water supply. Uh, a lot of our drinking water is used for irrigation and the stormwater is a great candidate for that because it has the nutrients that grass loves. So it's a great fit in every respect, both in sparing the downstream waters and in using a nutrient-rich water uh, where it belongs, which is on grass and not in downstream rivers. And another great thing about this is we're now setting up stormwater reuse utilities around the state and the developers are now selling stormwater and making money.